A leadership change at the Detroit Zoo will bring the institution's first female director. It comes at a time when the focus on family, health and safety is just as important for us as it is the animals. 7 Action News anchor Glenda Lewis introduces us to the woman now leading the zoo's future. So what are they eating? <laughs> oh, they're getting some, some special treats. Oh, We're here at the Cotton Family Wolf Habitat. They're, they're warm. We're cold. Yeah, yeah. But... The same old passion and care for every animal's well-being at the Detroit Zoo is now accompanied by a new presence. So Dr. Murphy, what does it feel like to be the first female director? Oh, it's pretty amazing. Introducing Dr. Haley Murphy, the first woman in the zoo's 93 years of operation to become executive director and CEO. Coming from a first female perspective, um, how do you think that you'll be able to go about things either differently or? Well, yeah, I think whether I was a woman or, or a man, right, I bring a different perspective. I think my background is, is in science um, and research and animal welfare. So I think I'll bring that with me. You know, Ron built this world-class facility yes. and I certainly intend to continue that tradition. And it's a tradition that Dr. Murphy hopes can set a trend for the future. Being a role model, especially to young girls who want to go into science and want to become the leaders of the future, I think it's really important. And I, I am so thankful and grateful to the Detroit Zoological Society for recognizing that. Wow, look at that. Dr. Murphy says her first mission as director is to make sure the Detroit Zoo remains a healthy environment that families can enjoy. And she hopes it will also teach families that the health of our society depends on it. It's beyond um, the animal's needs and beyond one environmental need. It's the globe. It, it really is that circle of life and how important that is. And telling it in a way that people can connect to and understand and reflect on and know that and it- And care. And care, yeah. right. And connecting kids, especially urban kids, to that mission, they might not ever see a wolf, right? They might not ever go to Africa or Asia Australia, but to come here and see an animal up close, not just in a magazine or on TV or in a video game, but to actually see it and connect and look in the eyes of that animal, that's incredibly impactful. It creates that empathy and that caring. Understanding that it is a circle. It of is life a circle. It's yep. so important. And really for people to care, they have to understand how it impacts them and that's that's our job, right? That's the job of a zoo to connect people to that and to, to translate that story. I'm Glenda Lewis, 7 Action News.